Hi, you guys. So, excuse the way I look. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> um, so, today I'm going to talk about this Almond Blossoms, this new shower gel from Lush Almond Blossom. And it came out a few days ago. Uh, it's not a Valentine's item, but it came out the same day that all the Valentine's items came out. This is actually going to be a regular line item available in stores and online all the time. And after looking at the ingredients, I noticed that it had uh, a lot in common with a couple of other products. So I asked Lush just to make sure. And I was told that um, Almond Blossom was made in the same scent as a couple of items. One, the Almond Blossom Solid Shower Gel, I mean Shower Oil. And here's a picture of the solid shower oil called Almond Blossom. And then also for Christmas, Lush made a lotion called Snowflake Lotion. Here's the naked version and here's the black pot liquid version. And this is one of my favorite Lush lotions in a long time. Um, I really enjoy using this and I really like the scent a lot. Those of you who've seen my Christmas haul and uh, reviews and descriptions know that I just adore Snowflake. And so I was looking forward to trying the Almond Blossom shower gel. Um, unfortunately, I don't get the same exact strength of scent as the Snowflake body lotion. Um, this is very, this is a very um, not sweet kind of sort of flat kind of scent to me. Um, it smells like like almond essential oil but not um, not a lot it's very light to me and a lot of people were surprised that I uh, d didn't really like it as much as I liked the snowflake lotion or the almond blossom shower oil and you know how different batches are different they're all handmade I think that this bottle or this batch is just a little bit different uh, I guess than everybody else's because everyone else says that theirs is very strong, almost sickly sweet, and um, mine just is not sweet at all in any way, shape, or form. It smells kind of like, my bottle smells kind of like, um, sort of like Play-Doh-ish <laughs> with a little bit of almond essential oil in there. So the good thing about this shower gel is the way that it feels it feels wonderful it feels creamy it feels luscious when you're using it now this shower gel as well as all new shower gels coming out moving forward is different it's a different formula uh, it's not made with any sulfates so Lush has found a replacement for sulfates in their shower gel, which a lot of you will be very pleased about. So this is free from palm oil and from sulfates now. And Almond Blossom Shower Gel has glycerin, almond milk, rose water, fine sea salt, cedar wood oil, coriander seed oil, sandalwood oil, and almond essential oil, and fair trade almond oil. So a lot of almondy things. It's suitable for vegans and it's self-preserving. I would rate this a three out of five rating. Uh, maybe because of the way that it feels on my skin, maybe a three and a half out of five rating. So it's not my favorite shower gel of the bunch. Um, I reviewed the Nana shower gel and then the Prince Charming shower gel and this is my least favorite of the bunch but those of you who have sensitive skin would probably like this because there's not a lot of um, drying skin drying skin irritating things in it and so that's kind of how I feel about Almond Blossom um, I think my opinion of almond blossom is different from a lot of other people's opinions but that's okay um, 
The description says the delicate blossoms of spring reimagined as a softening shower gel enriched with almond milk and the scent of sparkling sugared confections. And it's not quite as thick as Nana, um, but it is, it is on the thick side of average, as you can see. So that is my take anyway on almond blossom shower gel for what it's worth. So thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon on the next video. Bye bye.